We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. The world is very different now, for man holds in his mortal hands the power to destroy his earthly home. The Chinese use two brush strokes to write the word crisis. One brush stroke stands for danger, the other for opportunity. In a crisis, be aware of the danger but recognize the opportunity. We are not afraid to bear any burden, pay any price to assure the survival and the success of liberty. Change is the law of life, and those who look only to the past or the present are certain to miss the future. Let us never negotiate out of fear, but let us never fear to negotiate. The great enemy of truth is not ignorance, it is the illusion of knowledge. We should not judge people by their surnames or their color, we should judge them by their character. We must be bold, persistent, and unafraid. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Courage is not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. Leadership and learning are indispensable to each other. Those who dare to fail miserably can achieve greatly. We are the most powerful nation in the world, but we must never forget that we are also the most responsible. A man may die, nations may rise and fall, but an idea lives on. Ideas have endurance without death. We are tied to the ocean, and when we go back to the sea, whether it is to sail or to watch, we are going back from whence we came. We must never forget that art is not a form of propaganda, it is a form of truth. A wise man will never tell a woman two things, his salary and his regrets. A boy spends his time finding a girl to sleep with. A real man spends his time looking for the one worth waking up to. Tolerance implies no lack of commitment to one's own beliefs. Rather, it condemns the oppression or persecution of others. Let us not seek to fix the blame for the past. Let us accept our own responsibility for the future. A nation that is afraid to let its people judge the truth and falsehood in an open market is a nation that is afraid of its people. Children are the world's most valuable resource and its best hope for the future. There are costs and risks to a program of action, but they are far less than the long-range risks and costs of comfortable inaction. Those who foolishly sought power by riding the back of the tiger ended up inside. 